This video is about how to import plans and tasks from the standard planner or from Microsoft Project to the new premium planner. If you're wondering why you want to do this, actually the new premium planner, which was formerly Project for the Web, looks like this is a good blend of easy to use and also makes your data available for enterprise scale reporting. So all of the data from this version of Planner is stored in Dataverse and you can connect to it with Power BI. I have a video on how to do that. I'm going to link it down below, but here's how we do our migration. So I've got a sample plan here in the standard version of Planner. I've got some basic tags and things on here. I've got them assigned. I have some start and end dates. You can see what happens with those. And I also have another plan in Microsoft Project here to which I have assigned some resources. I've added some baselines. This is obviously overly simplified, but I wanted to show what happens to these extra things. So we've got some custom columns on here too. So the process for migrating is very simple, but there's some caveats. So if you are using standard planner, what you want to do is just go to this gem icon that says project in any given plan. You're going to need a planner plan one license or higher in order to be able to do this. But what we do is we go to this project link up here and then we click on this copy this plan to project. And what this does is it copies it to project. Project. It takes a little bit. The one thing I will say is that the recurring tasks do not stay as recurring because that's not a feature in Premium Planner. So it does say that when you're importing it here. So it doesn't currently support recurring tasks. It does, however, get, if I go to the grid view, all of our assignee information. So the assigned to stuck start and finish date, the buckets, and the percentage complete if I had any that were, yeah, this one was complete and the priority also sticks. If I open one of these up, you'll notice that it does still have the tags on it. So that's really nice. So those are equivalent between the two versions. So this was a copy, it's not a sync. So any changes that you make to the standard planner plan will not be reflected here after you've moved it. So that's standard planner. If you are using Microsoft Project, there is an option to copy from a project file to premium planner. It requires, as far as I'm aware, Planner Plan 3 and higher. So if you don't see the menu option, that would be why. So what we do is we go to the Home tab in the navigation in Project. And this is currently at the URL that's project.microsoft.com. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets renamed in the near future. It's called Project in the App Launcher as well. So what we're going to do is go to New Plan here and then choose import project as plan. So again, if you don't see this, it may be that you do not have the license required. So planner plan three, I'm going to choose the file that we want to import from click. Okay. And it's going to use whatever the file name is as the project name. You'll notice that it tells me which things weren't migrated over. So manual tasks have been changed to automatically scheduled tasks and the resources were removed. So project desktop doesn't know who people are. So you can add resources as named items, but it's not looking up to their ID or anything like that. I tried a few different methods to see if I could get it to import. So like I put, tried putting in the um, user principal name, or email address, it still didn't import those. So if anybody knows of a way to actually import with the resources attached, let me know in the comments. I couldn't get it to work. So this one, you'll notice that it has the start and finish dates. It has the percentage complete. It does not have any of those custom columns. So although you can add the custom columns in the desktop app, it doesn't seem to want to import those. The flags are also kind of part of the custom column situation in the desktop app. So those also didn't import. It did get the parent child tasks. So you'll notice the grouping level here stayed the way it was. If I go to check and see if the baseline imported, it looks like it did not. This may change as time goes by, so keep an eye out. I notice that anything new happens in this space, I'll put it in the pinned comment, but that's the situation right now. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.